everyone. Welcome to Love Your Instant Pot. Another pressure cooker recipe for you guys. I know the weather is really heating up right now, so the last thing I want to do is turn my oven on. <laughs> so one of my like family favorites that we do is chicken and rice, which in the oven, you know, is great. You can do it in the Instant Pot just as great. <laughs> so I have kind of pre-measured, pre-cut so that the video can be fairly quick for you guys. The recipe is attached to the email that you were sent. Inside our pot right now, I have two chicken breasts that I cut up, um, scattered amongst the bottom there. The next thing that I am going to add is going to be, and this is just because I want a little vegetable with it. You don't have to add the green beans. This is just so that it's all one meal, one pot. It's really handy. <laughs> so I'm gonna add a can of drained green beans. So we're just gonna sprinkle that all over. Grab my spoon here. Just kind of make it even. I have a half an onion that has been chopped. We're going to then sprinkle that everywhere. There is a seasoning mixture. This is in your recipe. It's got quite a bit in it. Paprika, oregano, thyme, some brown sugar, salt, pepper, all that good stuff. Just sprinkle that all over everything that is in there right now. And then I'm gonna give it a quick stir, mix it all up. That looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and top it with rice. It is one and a quarter cup of rice. going to add in my chicken stock. You can also use chicken broth. Um, I'm using unsalted chicken stock. Feel free to use whatever you have handy at home. That's what's really nice about this recipe is you can tweak it kind of however you want because it's chicken and rice. I mean you can't go wrong with chicken and rice. So. want to make sure that all of your rice is submerged in the liquid. So just going to press down a little bit on everything. Go. Oh, it smells good. And then if you want beforehand, I have the olive oil out here with me because you can kind of marinate your chicken. So while you're chopping your onion, getting your vegetables ready, all of that, you can add a little bit of that olive oil in there with the seasoning, let it sit on the chicken and then throw it in first. So that's why that was there. Optional again. Once we've got all of that together, move this so that you can see the front of the pressure cooker. I'm gonna go ahead, put my lid on and I'm going to put it in place. We're going to seal and then we're going to set this for manual and it's only going to be eight minutes and we're going to let it do its thing and we'll be back once it's done. Okay. All right. So we are back. It has cooked for eight minutes. And you can now see it's doing a natural release. So it's already been naturally releasing the pressure from the pot for three minutes. We're gonna let it continue to do that until it hits 12 minutes. Then we're gonna do a quick release of whatever is left. And bam, we've got dinner. All right, so it should be all done. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and see how it looks. All right. Ooh, there comes the last of the steam. <laughs> it's looking good. So we're gonna give it a quick stir, fluff everything up. Oh my goodness. 
Um, those chicken chunks are in there, nice and cooked. I can smell the seasonings. I wish you guys could smell this. <laughs> and that's it. Once it's fluffed, it's ready to serve, and we have our chicken and rice. Hope you guys have fun and enjoy. Thanks for joining us.